someone feels like they're going to have to be intrusive or someone is being intrusive when it comes to you even though they're trying to numb something when it comes to you as well this is someone who is admiring you from a, from afar wanting to pounce wanting to move quickly but they feel like you have already moved on I feel this is someone who is hot and cold something is off when it comes to their energy but someone is almost feeling drawn to you in some type of way even though they avoided you this is someone who was feeling like they were too big to fail in some type of scheme or strategy but I feel they're starting to realize you were the perfect match or they're starting to miss their yin to their yang there are unsent messages here but there's also third party energy here third party energy is coming out as sinister I feel someone could be getting rejected in this third party situation causing someone to think more about you someone's being difficult possibly on a mission to do so but whatever they're dealing with is starting to drain them it's becoming excess baggage this is someone who feels like they're being singled out and this is why the intrusive card is here okay so they feel like everyone is watching or someone is singling them out someone could be bringing you up or calling them out but they feel like someone is being intrusive on their life and they're just trying to numb the pain this is causing someone to love you from a distance because they feel like they no longer have access to you this is someone who's coming out as cruel bougie please take it how it resonates but this is someone who is not firmly fixed but they believe that they are awake this is someone who is taking action, but I feel they're taking actions on their own selfish desires. But their finances are stumbling. It's something about their finances. It's just not straight. I feel this is someone who is exposed. Hmm. Yet they're still pretending they could care less. So it seems like this is someone who's pretending to care less that you're at a far or they're pretending to care less that they're numbing you out but I feel it's because they feel you're taking over their mental space right. but I feel someone's truth or someone's lies have already been exposed for many of you you know enough about this energy to know that something about them cannot be trusted or something needs to remain at a distance for them to truly get something right or truly understand that nothing that you have given should have been taken for granted I feel this is someone who has an insatiable thirst. It's hard to satisfy someone who is naive when it comes to love. This energy is naive because they can't see what's right in front of them. Hmm. This is why someone believes you have moved on already. And this is what's causing this energy to want to trespass. Do something by any means. But I feel for many of you, you are stressed out or you have some type of post-traumatic stress when it comes to someone who didn't take you seriously or ruined something when it comes to affairs of the heart. I feel this is someone who wants to run back to you because they know that you are loyal, but I feel they are not. This energy is coming out as a smooth talker, someone who is going through financial troubles. I feel these finances is causing this energy to want to smooth talk their way out of something or into something. Someone feels that they can somehow swindle their way back into your heart. This is why someone is only thinking about it because they're still strategizing, thinking of a way to talk their way in or out of something. Because they're still naive when it comes to affairs of the heart. I feel their insatiable thirst or their finances is being blocked because of it. I feel their self pleasures are also getting in the way. Someone's being scammed and canceled. But this energy believes that you only live once and this is why someone is showing up canceled or trying to win at all costs. Someone could also be going to or through a space where they believe they're going through a lot of competition. Someone could be feeling like there's no place like home when it comes to you or they just could be out of pocket or out of luck when it comes to stability. This is why this is someone who feels like they have nothing left to lose when it comes to a separation or divorce and they're still giving into self-pleasures as a scare tactic. 
Someone feels like they can scare you into position where they're starting to realize it's not working. But as I said before, someone is strategizing, trying their best to hold you hostage. Someone is wanting to be hypnotizing. Someone wants you to be under the influence when it comes to them. Someone wants you to give in. Someone needs or wants your attention. It's almost an overload. Someone wants what they can't have, or someone doesn't like the fact that they feel they're canceled. I feel this is someone who is naive when it comes to affairs of the heart, almost bitter about it. I feel this is a hard pill to swallow when it comes to someone who was trying to arouse fear or alarm when it comes to what they want or what they thought they needed. Someone was trying to hold you hostage to this connection, even though they know it's not healthy for either one of you. As this is someone who has done something too much, too fast, not caring who they hurt in the process, this energy is coming out as angry, bitter, agitated because you cut ties or they cut ties with you and they now regret it. Someone is used to finessing their way out of situations but someone feels like they're going to have to go deeper with you to get what they want. They're not used to that. This is someone who is very surface level and they're just used to agitating those who agitate them. But whatever they've been doing in regards to you hasn't been working like they thought it would. Someone was trying to agitate you, get a rise out of you, possibly getting you to respond. But I feel this is someone who is trying to agitate you through betrayal because you cut ties or you accepted something when it comes to them. Whether it be their false way of being or the fact that you may have to proceed without them. I feel this betrayal or them trying to agitate you is like clickbait. Someone's trying to trigger you because they're bitter, they're angry, they're salty. This is someone who's agitated and still trying to play the victim in some type of way, but they're not wanting you to see it. So they're pretending that they are going through something that they can't explain. When really, they should just keep it basic. They should just keep it simple and just give you the space or the truth that you need. I feel this is someone who is refusing treatment, trying to escape something, they're running from their problems, which is only causing them to be burdened, disappointed, because in the end they will feel cursed through their bad decisions of doing things in the most petty way. I feel this is someone who did things from a very petty or insecure nature. I feel they didn't see something when it comes to long-term energy, but I feel there are underlying issues that keep them from seeing the truth. This energy believes others have cursed them, but I feel they have cursed themselves through their lies and their choice to cut ties with those who mean them no harm. I feel you stay in their mind or in their head because of it. Someone knows that you were a big loss and they were being petty with it. But I feel something has reached its peak when it comes to someone who has underlying issues with mental health issues or they're just not getting something right. It's mechanical when it comes to their heart, their emotions, and their thoughts. Someone is just upset because you didn't follow, but I feel something has just gotten too deep, too deep for them to handle. I feel there are behavior issues or someone putting a key in their back and this is why someone is refusing to step up or refusing to answer any questions. This is why things have become mechanical. Hmm. Almost predictable for someone who has disappointed you so many times. I feel this is someone who is somewhat intimidated by you. The way that you love, the way that you do things authentically and pour into others. They are intimidated by that because they don't know how to do it in the way that you do. I feel like it's inspiring, but it's also intimidating for someone who is used to finessing. This is someone who is coming out of ego, an inflated ego, where someone definitely thought they were too big to fail. I feel this is someone who was unresponsive because of their lies, but I feel many of you feel unsafe in their hands because of it but it's poetic justice or retribution that they are alone now, remote, isolated. For some of you, maybe even worried because their finances are at, it, at its end or 
mounting pressures when it comes to third parties. I feel someone is burnt out by the smoke and mirrors, but they're also thinking about how they left you on red. And they also know that if no one else knows the truth, both of you, both of you do. And there's no way they can erase or take it back. I feel this is someone who's just been lazy to the fact that they have broke your heart, betrayed you in a big way. They've been intimidated and insecure. They've lied, caused something to be toxic. When all you did was try, was try to help or love them. Yet this is someone who was irresponsible and became a breaking ball when it comes to this relationship. For many of you, I feel this is something you had to find a way to be at peace with before you became at war with it, which is something they have yet to do themselves, as you may be dealing with someone who already knows what their heart wants, and they know they would rather be with you, but someone is still leading their heart and their mind astray because they're still at conflict. I feel this is someone who is still in conflict because they're... They're fighting something. Hmm. I feel this is someone who already knows what their heart wants, but they're in conflict because their mind refuses to follow. I feel this is someone who has you on their mind, on their heart, but they are refusing to reach out, causing them to be triggered. Even though they are the ones that cause the separation due to strategy, I feel many of you had to click ties. Something is clickbait. I feel like this is someone who is wanting to do something just to get you to respond. So be aware of that. This could be coming as a text, a text message or some type of phone call. This could also come through a third party. But someone is wanting to get a reaction from you so that you reach out. I feel this is someone who is not wanting to reach out first because they feel that is a weakness. They feel that is a loss. But I feel your trust in your gut when it comes to this. And someone just won't get what they thought they were going to get when it comes to you. Hmm. As I said before, this is someone who is definitely in conflict with self due to their pride and their senseless need to have a win. This is someone who is carelessly giving into their own needs and wants and never thinking about anyone else and this is why you being on their head or on their mind is not something they expected. Someone never thought that you would be on their mind like this. I feel someone never expected it because they never care for anyone else other than self and for some of you they don't even care for themselves as much as they should if they're doing all this. Someone trying to keep you hostage to something that they know is toxic. I feel you have to trust yourself when it comes to a situation which is a surprising twist for someone. Someone is completely shocked that you cut ties even though they were using their best work on you. I feel someone's surprised there's a surprising twist when it comes to third parties. Tempting desires. Hmm. Wow. Okay. So someone thought that you would have the desire to hang on to something but the fact that you are not swept up into this illusion and their toxic behaviors have you guarded they're lurking they're watching from afar instead of reaching out to you someone's stuck in limbo due to their lies and secrets someone knows that you know some things but they also know that you don't know everything they feel like this will shut everything down and they would rather be at a distance to keep something from spilling out they believe time will heal your wounds they believe time will cause you to forget the details but i feel time will only keep you from opening up I feel someone is stuck in limbo because they're telling half-truths. This is someone who is playing games and cause something to be short-lived with you because something is unattainable. Mm. So some of you have to make a choice and it's only because it felt like it was the only choice. Many of you guys to go for it and go with the flow when it comes to someone who is now sitting in regret and lurking but they will never share that with you because of their ego, their pride, their toxic behaviors. This is someone who is still in illusion, lurking, knowing that you're guarding your heart, and rightfully so, 
because this is someone who has done a lot to you not caring if they have already lost because they believe that they can sway your opinion I feel this is someone who is wanting to tempt you in some type of way but I feel they're distracted as well something is still holding on to them or trying to hold on to their heart something is keeping them swept up in their own emotions puppy love they're wanting to keep something private when it comes to something that they know is sabotaging them Someone wants to make a gesture towards you, but they feel like you would rather go solo. But I feel something was faded, a faded farewell when it comes to someone who was mishandling you. Yeah, divinely guided. Inner child energy, and this is why you are following your good. You have already been burned by them. Something is also symbolic here. You got out, you got away. There's new love coming for many of you. And for many of you, I feel you finding something bigger and better. Hmm only choice something short-lived due to a secret worth the risk so whatever you're about to step into it is worth the risk hmm. taking the solo path is worth the risk healing the inner child is worth the risk whatever you're about to step into is divinely guided so for many of you someone knows that something big is coming your way they can feel it and for some of you you can feel it too others i feel it's a struggle right now you can't see the brighter side of things but i feel you not seeing it isn't isn't the problem what belongs to you belongs to you someone also knows that they can't hold you back from that you won't take the risk to open up so for many of you just the phone call, a message, something that this energy does allows you to see the hidden agenda or enough to know that you're not wanting to risk it all or open up the way that you used to. And for many of you, this phone call, this message may also put you in the energy to be guided to know or feel that something was fated to happen. I feel someone is wanting to do something discreetly. As I said before, someone is wanting to do something through a third party. Get some type of reaction towards you. Wanting you to feel they are ready to wine and dine or give you the respect you deserve. But I feel it's a fairy tale. Someone is wanting to seduce you. This is someone who is very ambitious when it comes to something they believe they want. But I feel it's the tough love that's a trap. Someone feels like you're giving them tough love but they're starting to realize something just might be too hard to sway but they feel they can, they're going to take a risk anyways they see you in the long term but i feel for many of you something has changed you're committed elsewhere whether this is in a new love or a new path whatever it is it's multiple options while someone is suppressing what they feel you're growing and changing and they're sitting in a space of regret if this energy hasn't sat in this space yet they will because no love is given hmm. so i feel there's no love given where there is no heart given and this is shocking for someone who is used to being closer to you but i, I feel this is also a part of their journey to reinvent themselves because they're too consumed this is someone who is just too consumed wanting to wait something out they disappointed you as well as themselves because they lost you lost you when it comes to love and i feel in so many ways you were always divinely protected this is someone who really doesn't know or even want to believe what they had with you was real because it would cause them to have to be real with themselves and that's just not something they're willing to do they're just too used to casual counterparts or setting something off but i feel these pet peeves or trying to irritate you only cause a downward spiral where others are gossiping talking about them instead of talking to them i feel this is someone who is anti-social anti-marriage not wanting to be free but they're not wanting you to be free either someone is wanting you to get caught up in this triangle this love affair or this situation where they are vengeful always breaking your heart or never giving an apology i feel this is someone who is giving you the silent treatment and staying private because they know they're a runner they just need time away to figure some things out but i feel many of you already know you have a good feeling that they are detached you've already tried and there's not a lot you can do about it. 
because someone is just too lazy when it comes to fixing what is broken someone is too lazy when it comes to dysfunction and this is what's making something more complicated because they're just using excuses to deal with their pain or they're just excusing their past trauma and lies misleading everyone just to hide their addictions and their choices, their options. Someone's just not ready to settle down, so they think someone's just thinking they should vanish. Let the dust settle. But I feel this is someone who is just procrastinating. You're dealing with the lost soul. Someone who is superficial, always walking away and being spiteful about it. Someone has a bad attitude even though they know they walked away from you. Yet this energy is still in a downward spiral due to casual counterparts. This energy is complicated and pretending. I feel this energy is complicated and pretending because they're surface level, but not wanting to believe it. Someone doesn't want to believe they don't have any real conversation to even figure something out. And they are sitting in this guarded space. Guarded because they don't know what to say or how to fix it. So they sit in this silly energy causing you to feel they think it's just a game. But this energy is guarded because they're pretending to forget the details. It's all a part of the manipulation of you not really giving a, a, a any type of energy about the third party. But it's not about the third party. It's about the lies and the deception of being a coward and having tunnel vision when it comes to denial. This is someone who is unreliable and very deceptive, deceptive, but I feel something has become their biggest mistake, which is having no expectations to even change. I feel this is someone who is pretending to be oblivious, but will discreetly reach out because you're dealing with a coward who is only making things more complicated because they have failed to change. For many of you, I feel you have to make some choices with or without this energy who was always doing things from a hateful or spiteful place. Yet I sense they have always had an inner knowing that something should have been respected or held as a priority when it comes to you. This is why many of you had to trust your gut when it comes to someone and your energy. Even though they are drawn to you doesn't mean they are for you. I feel this is someone who has a lot of passion but they don't know how to direct their energy or even be loyal to those who are loyal to them. And this is why many of you are having to trust your gut when it comes to someone who is spiraling and disappointing you as well as themselves. As it seems you done all you can with someone who refuses to appreciate your compromise and your generosity. Where I sense you may have to take a step back just to see what they'll do with their time and their energy. Just to see what they'll do with the time that is given. But I feel this is someone who has chosen to disappoint you too many times. Mm. Because the sad part is that even if they find a way to heal or even recover from this, you just might not be there to see it. As they have given you false hope so many times. It's hard. It's hard to even look back. It's hard to hold on to something that is unfinished. I'm getting the energy of what for, but they are saying what if. Someone still feels drawn, but they also know they're not ready. Someone is still a disappointment or someone is still spiraling, but I feel it's the only reason they're still holding on or you're all in their head. I feel this is someone who has an inner knowing. They need to ground themselves and find some type of forgiveness, but someone has yet to surrender, have any type of healing, self-love, recovery, causing many of you to be weary, guarded, on guard, reserved. Many of you are just cautious. Cautious when it comes to clarity or this energy bringing anything out or saying anything is hard to trust. They always have some type of agenda. Hmm. 
So it seems there's caution when it comes to clarity and potential. There's big waves, turbulence when it comes to emotions. Someone is wanting you to be emotional and be swept into an illusion. Someone is wanting you to have rose-colored glasses. But I feel someone is just not seeing the signs. You are not the same, and this is no mystery. Someone is wanting to leave something up in the air, or someone is wanting you to question something, wonder about the friendship, but I feel they're wanting to tap into your insecurities, wanting you to be confused, and this is how they keep you hostage, bound to them, even if they're not giving you any communication or attention, they keep you bound through the emotional history, as well as the hope of their potential that they could even change. I feel many of you had to just trust your gut when it comes to something that's, that just continues to spiral when it comes to mind games of someone distorting things and misleading you on purpose. But I feel they had to play it this way. Someone doesn't know how to do things without getting something out of it. Hmm. Which is why someone is avoiding something big with your expectations. Vulnerability. Someone is avoiding the fact that they don't want to be in a space where they're seen. Someone doesn't want to be authentic, naked with you. Someone doesn't want to be vulnerable. Hmm. Someone has a fixed vision and this is why they're rebelling. So they want to be free, they want to be wild, and they're wanting to do it unapologetically. But I feel you expressing your emotions and your feelings is keeping them from being raw and rebellious and they're hating you for it. They're causing some type of tension because they can't do what they want to do. They feel judged by you, but I feel this is someone who is about to have a sudden shift due to their mass, their identity, their conditioning, their ego. Someone is still moving out of strategy. This is why things are moving slowly, but I feel steady when it comes to someone who is still stuck and intertwined in their own lies and secrets because they have already missed a rare opportunity with you. But I feel this change that is coming your way is needed for the both of you. I feel this is someone who is still unstable when it comes to communication. It's a mixed bag. I feel this is someone who needs to be genuine, but they're not. And this is why the communication is just not coming up the way that it needs. It's a lot of facets here. There's a lot of things that make things complicated when it comes to someone who should be reaching out, but instead they're only causing more conflict, stress, and tension. There's no resolve. Someone is built to break the chain when it comes to you, and this is why you are hurt. Not because someone failed you through their own actions, it's because they failed to break the chain to finally have the blessing which is, which is you or this connection, but someone failed in a very big way, which is because of their reluctance to be genuine, sincere, truce. It's because of their reluctance to put both feet in invest, devote themselves, and commit. Yet this energy gave into deceit, concealing the lies. Something was a false front when it comes to someone who put both feet into the smoke and mirrors because in so many ways, they're just not ready. And this is why many of you had to take a necessary step back for someone to truly understand and even heal because for some they will find their way and others they'll still be swept up. Swept up in something that is unknown and will always leave them to question what they could have had with you. As I said before, this is someone who has an inner knowing to ground themselves, show you love, show themselves love, but they have yet to surrender and find a sense of forgiveness. And this is why many of you are not looking back Yet they are still wondering and still drawn to you, desired, pursued, persuaded. But I feel someone just doesn't want to hear the word no. So someone wants to be bold, but they can't be. And this is what's causing them to stress out. And for some of you, and this is what's going to cause them to try to reach out or get in touch with you when they know they should be coming at you in a more respectful or honest way, but they have refused to see themselves as the culprit as they are still investing in being the victim. Which is why many of you are leery when it comes to investing, giving your all when it comes to them.
yeah, this is someone who is going through a lot behind the scenes. I, I feel many of you are cautious because of the disappointment, but I also feel there is caution because of their actions, their codependent ways, their addictions. I feel there is also rumors, gossip circulating around them or about them. But whatever the case, someone is talking, a lot of people are talking, and they're insecure about that. Someone is really insecure about what is being said about them or what is being said to them. But I feel the biggest thing is the fact that you have left them behind, moved on, and it's caused them to be a, a bit more reckless because you're not empty inside. Someone wanted to leave you in pieces when I feel many of you are just left in peace when it comes to someone who has too many trust issues or someone who is accusing you of having trust issues that they gave you. I feel this is someone who is ghosting or using the silent treatment. They're trying to be silent, but this is it's their weakness. Someone wants to speak out or wants to lean into you because they always get what they want. They're starting to think that this silent treatment is starting to blow up in their face. Mm. I feel this is someone who is too emotionally void to see something and communicate. Somebody's about to push them to a breaking point when it comes to them wearing a mask, being false. Someone's about to go through a soul death, a rebirth, and it won't be casual. When it comes to their betrayal, something will be brutal, a total nightmare. For some of you, someone really doesn't understand the the depths of what's coming their way when it comes to their karma and due to their betrayal, pride, and two-fisted ways. Something was definitely a big mistake, but I feel it has yet to truly weigh on their heart, but it will be a heavy burden. I feel this is someone who is always pretending they didn't causes much damage to the, to the connection as many claim. This is someone who still doesn't understand or want to see their truth. But it is also the reason many of you have yet to be excited about something with them. Excited about contact or excited about them talking about you. Many of you are not wanting to invest or give in into a situation where you feel you cannot win. You can't win when it comes to someone who continues to prove no matter how hard you love them or want them to do their best or be their best. They have to want it as well. In fact, they have to want it even more. As I sense their lack of trusting their own ability to love you has caused them to fail you every time. I feel this is someone who is nervous to truly give in, but I feel you're in their head because they feel you were the one person they should have truly given their heart to. Instead of stabbing you in the back and doing something in a harsh way, someone does see you as a soul contract, and this is why they still feel drawn to you. Hmm. I feel this is someone who ran away because they thought that it would bring you to a sense of Emotion. Someone thought that you would be an emotional wreck by them retreating or being silent or keeping secrets or the fact that they know they broke your heart, but I feel something backfired because they are the ones who are losing sleep at night. I feel this is someone who is losing sleep at night due to nightmares or making something more complex or complicated when it comes to karmic ties and broken promises. This is someone who is still trying to master manipulate a situation by being fake, false, and phony. This is someone who is still in denial about a truth because of their heart and heart. Keeps them in a space of doubt of their desires, lies, and trickery, their, their, their deception. Someone is still not finding themselves because they're still dealing with their reckless behaviors. This is someone who's still reckless because they're in fear of truly giving in and loving or being the true partner they should. Yet this is someone who is coming out as a train wreck and they're wanting you to feel the same. Mm. It's the only way that they can keep you bound or it's the only way that they can feel that you are they're equal because they don't know if they can level up to you just the same. Mm. Because someone is mindless with no direction because of their fears. Something is truly distorted when it comes to love. Something is truly a train wreck when it comes to someone who is still living alive. But soon they will be in regret because they will have a change of heart. A change of heart 
that this might be too late because as I said before, even if they decide to recover and heal from this, you may not be around to see it. They're just gonna have to suffer in silence. Suffer in silence and hope that you still have the heart to love them from a distance. I hope you guys have enjoyed the message and